This is Buzz TV Hollywood, and we're loaded actually on Hollywood Boulevard. And sitting next to me is Sin from Ministry. Sorry, I gotta get close because I'm deaf. Oh, that's so right. So I'm like, if I'm doing this, it's just because I can't hear. So perfect. Yeah, <laughs> that's what that's what 30 years of playing this kind of music does to you. That's right. My hearing's years. starting to go. 30 years. We don't yeah. look like you've been playing music for 30 yeah, years. I have. Uh, actually, I've been playing it. Let me see. Let's see. Let's go down memory lane here. Uh, I'm 45, and I started playing the guitar when I was 10. So 35 years. 35 years I've been playing music. It's crazy. Wow. Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. Do I look 45? Absolutely not. I do? No, you don't. You don't. You don't. I thought you were going to say absolutely you do. Absolutely not. No. You know, you've been on this long career, and it's taken you a lot of places. Biggest show ever that you've been on. The, the best, the biggest, the baddest, the funnest. Uh, 2012, two years ago, uh, Poland, Woodstock Festival, in front of 500,000 people. Wow. Yeah. 500,000 people. Half a million people. It's kind of a lot. That's, that's quite a few. Yeah, yeah. That was That's the biggest show. The, it's funny because in 2005, uh, with Society One, I played the Download Festival, and we did like 35, 40,000 people. And at that point, I thought, wow, this is like, it's a huge crowd. I'm never going to like top this. And then in 2008, with Ministry, we did um, Serbia. In front of 90,000 people, we played with the Sex Pistols, and then I thought, wow, I'm never going to top 90,000 people, and then 2012, 500,000 people. Now I really don't think we're going to top 500,000 people, so. Yeah, well, it's, it's changed a lot here yeah. in America. Oh, yeah, 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 big time. So you never know. Maybe I will. Here? Maybe. Uh, who knows? What, what do you think about that? What's your take on that? Uh, you know, I, I, the, the fans, I love playing the States, you know. Um, but I think the European fans seem to be a little bit more loyal to metal, and they seem to stick with the bands a lot longer. Here, for whatever reason, it just seems like they're always on to the next thing, like, like that. Like, exactly. That's and, what I think. and out there, it's like they, they stick with bands for years and years and years, and I think that's kind of cool that they're so loyal. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So I think that's kind of a big difference. They seem Fans seem to be a little more fickle here, and quick, like with no attention span. And out there, you know, bands are coming out for Saxon and like, you know what I mean? Bands that here, like people laugh at sometimes and, you know, think, oh, that's a band from like the 80s or whatever. And out there, they're still filling festivals and shit. So. Yeah, and it's a shame because you guys are loyal to your fans. I mean, yeah. you guys stick with your fans. You're always thinking about your fans. I mean, it costs a lot of money to this. You it know? does. It does, yeah. I mean, I, that aspect I wish was different and I wish, you know, it was more like Europe. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Well, I, I do have a question from a fan. Uh -oh. Yeah. And, uh, Are they from Poland? Actually, no. It was from uh, Spokane, Washington. Ooh. Amber Ray Anderson. And she wants to know the best place to get the rock star gear, as in clothing. <laughs> um, the best place to get... Well, here's a, here's a little secret for me. I usually, like, I wear girl clothes. Like I wear, these are girl pants. Um, I always wear girl pants because I like like stuff to be um, sort of low cut and flared. And girl pants seem to be the way for me. So I'll, what I'll do is I'll buy girl pants. And then the secret is my mom alters all my pants for me. If you notice all this shit? Oh yeah, my mom cool. Does that stuff. Do she picture, does like. Picture of that down there. My mom does that to all my pants, so that's the big secret for me is my mom. You and mom are pretty close. Your mom like yeah. they even work together sometimes or something, don't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I own a business. I own a car audio store. She's, my mom's my biggest fan. She's been my biggest supporter. She was there from, you know, she's the one that bought me my first guitar, and uh, she's at every show that I play in L. Every ministry show, she's there up in the front yelling her head off with a ministry shirt or like an I Love Sin shirt. like. My mom is awesome. I'm extremely lucky. And show's coming up. You're in Society One and Ministry. Yes. And you have a show coming up. Yeah, Society One at the Viper Room, Saturday, August 2nd. And it's uh, sort of our record release party. Um, it's our new album, Collection of Lies. And uh, we're all going to be there, and we're all going to sign the record. If you come down and buy it, we're all going to sign it there. We'll have some merch for sale. 
So it's kind of a cool, big, you know, big deal for us. We're happy yeah, about yeah. it. Yeah, Viper Sunset Strip in Hollywood. Perfect. Viper, Saturday night. Saturday night. No excuses that you got to work and all that bullshit. I, I so. do have to work, See? actually. <laughs> there you go. But uh, now, ministry, are they going to go on tour? I mean, there's a whole. We are. We um, we're in the process of planning our next tour, which will be a world tour in 2015. Um, it's looking like we're going to start the tour sometime in January, February, and we're going to do the States, we're going to do Europe, uh, we're going to do Japan, Australia, South America, Mexico, like the whole bit. So, Neat. Yeah. yeah. It should take us all through 2015. Right. So you're going to be busy. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. I can't wait. I can't wait. Now you're here tonight and loaded. You put the show on with uh, Metal Sanaz. Metal right? Sanaz and yeah, and I, uh, I mean, she was really the one. She had like, she has a Monday night thing here. And my friends, this band Kuza, uh, have been on tour all of July and they were looking to do an LA show. And so we put the word out here and um, got them booked here at Loaded. And uh, it seemed to be a good turnout. And, um, you know, a lot of friends are here and stuff. So we were glad that we were able to do that for them. Turnout. Yeah. For a Sorry, Sunday, night. Sunday night. I know. Yeah. I was thinking, I was like, look at all these people. Yeah. Definitely. I, I, I was surprised that this many people showed up. Yeah, yeah I was. Yeah. I was. I thought it was just going to be like Carrie. <laughs> well, you know, we paid him well. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. You know, my TV chipped in, had to get people out this Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Somebody had to do it. Right. No. Right. So, what else do we need to know? Um, let's talk about the movie the last time. No, oh, lady. I don't know if I did or not. I'm I'm working on this movie called The Bridge, the movie. Um, we haven't shot it yet. We're gonna shoot at the end of this year, and uh, first time I'm gonna be in a major motion picture, and uh, it stars Joe Elliott from Def Leppard, um, Ricky Warwick from Black Star Riders and Thin Lizzy and The Almighty, uh, Eddie Ojeda from Twisted Sister. Um, who else am I forget? Uh, Joey Santiago from uh, the Pixies, and um, yeah, I'm really excited about it. Um, I've never been in a movie, and I'm not going to be playing a musician in the movie. So you're not. What are you no, going to play? No, I can't say what I'm going to be playing it because it's a surprise. We won't tell anybody. Yeah, <laughs> it's a surprise. I can't say what or who I'm going to be playing, but it's something that people aren't going to expect, and I'm really excited and looking forward to that. And it's called The Bridge, the movie. That's cool. You know, I think I read something about that when you guys were starting to get it together and talking yep. about it. And yep. So we're going to, he'll keep us posted on that for yep. sure. Definitely. And also my, my signature series guitar that I have coming out. Um, it's a Schechter guitar. It'll be out in uh, January. It'll be unveiled at NAMM um, 2015. Oh, nice. So hopefully you guys will be out there at NAMM covering Definitely. it. Um, yeah, I'm very excited about it. I've already in the works like I mean it's already been designed it's already finished and everything I already saw it okay. it's all I can say is it's it's a flying V because that's the guitar that's sort of my signature guitar but um, I design I designed it myself um, and I'm really excited about that there you go and I'm endorsed by black star amps now that's right. I um, that. yeah super excited about that I'm playing the new um, HT metal 100 uh, head um, it sounds monstrous. I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be using that all through the ministry tour and through Society One shows now. Whenever I can carry the amp, because it weighs a ton, right. and I'm old and I have a bad back. Oh shit! That's right. Yeah, but it's, it's neat. Yeah, we took. A, I got on stage with your amp actually. Oh, awesome. and, yeah. yeah. No, it sounds amazing. Like, wait till I bring my amp with me. It's gonna. Yes. It sounds brutal. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. So I'm very excited to be a part of the the Black Star family. Absolutely. Yeah. And you're doing well now. You're, you're pulled out. Everything's okay. I'm alive. Yeah, I'm not dying. I was dying about three months ago. Um, you know, kidney stone nightmare and uh, went into septic shock. Thank God that I'm alive and I didn't lose any organs or any limbs. And, um, yeah, you know, it changes your perspective on life once you go through something like that. And um, I know it's a very cliche thing to say, but... You know, you gotta live life and you have to enjoy it every day. Um, and just be happy and do everything that you wanna do. Um, and just surround yourself with good, positive people. Yeah. Right, right. You know, you find yeah. out who your friends are yeah, and you and don't really sweat all the small bullshit stuff because it's so not worth it. Exactly. And you realize that, you find that out when you're in one of those situations where it's looking like you're not gonna make it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. really scary. 
Okay. Yeah. What was the thought going through your head? What What were you thinking if you made it out of this? If you pulled out of this, what was your like your bucket list of things to do in life that you ha didn't do and you were thinking, oh my God, I should have did this and I might die tomorrow. Now I didn't do it. You know what I was thinking, and because I, I did have those thoughts, but it wasn't really that I was thinking I should have done this or I want to do that. It was more of like, you know, I need to be around my loved ones and I need to let them know and I need to tell them how I feel. And it was more of that kind of thing that that um, that was sort of the realization that I went through when, when I went through this experience. It was more of like, man, just have your friends around you, your family, whoever you care, keep things in. Um, you know, life's too short and sometimes we get caught up in all this other bullshit and we don't tell people, we don't express our feelings to others and, and I'm sounding like some jackass right now. But um, just tell people how you feel and surround yourself again with good, positive friends and, and just enjoy yourself. I, I think your fans just like love you more for this right now. I, I just I, I so it's the truth. It's the truth. You know, I mean, after going through that, I have never gone through a near death experience like that. And coming out of it, man, I, every day that I wake up, I just smile on my face and I'm happy to have the people that I have around me around me. And I appreciate every single one of them. That's great. And we're glad to have you back. And your fans are glad to have you back. And I had a blast no, playing with my, with my friends in Kuza tonight. Um, it was fun. <laughs> Rock and roll. Do you have the pick I gave you? I do. Cool. You, say, you can actually, sell that on eBay, actually, oh, actually for like 20 I bucks. I did. Uh, my, <laughs> my camera girl right here, she's a guitar player, oh, and, and she's a major fan of yours. Oh, cool. Here, I'll she, give you another one. she threatened me that if I didn't give it to her, that <laughs> she was going to take the film herself and sell it. <laughs> There's Society One pick. That's actually, that's really rare. This that's really a rare. that's a custom sin Society One pick from like 2005. Yes. That's really rare. So, so as soon as he goes over to Europe, if you're watching, <laughs> put no. that on eBay. eBay, that's right. Yeah. Five thousand. We're gonna start the bid at. Yeah. I'll split it with you. That's a deal. <laughs> well, you know, after we played the Download Festival in 2005 with Society One, the big like suspension show we did. Um, I broke my guitar, like the last song, I smashed it, and so like the, it cut in half, so like the neck was on one side and the body was on the other, and I went out into the crowd and I tossed the neck out on one side and I tossed the body out. About six to eight months later, somebody emailed me, and they were like, dude, I just bought like half of your guitar on eBay for like 500 bucks. And I was like, what? And they showed me a picture, and it was the broken guitar from Download. They bought like the neck for like 500 bucks. So, yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. What a fan. Thanks for selling it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. That's I so tried cool. it, It's kind of funny. I tried to light my guitar. There's actually a video of this on YouTube. I tried to light the guitar on fire before I smashed it. And I had the fluid and everything. And I was like, so we're doing this big ending. And I'm on the fucking ground on stage with lighter fluid, like dousing my guitar and matches. And it wouldn't light because it was really fucking windy that day. So I'm sitting there like with all these matches trying to light this fucking guitar and it wasn't lighting. <laughs> so I'm on my knees, I was like, fuck it. So that just got me even more pissed to smash the guitar. <laughs> but yeah, it was supposed to like be in flames while I was smashing it, but it didn't work out. So there you go. So does Ministry have any new songs out? Didn't they have one last week Well, we, our latest record from Beer to Eternity came out last September. We didn't tour on that. We're gonna tour on that record next year. But what we're doing is uh, we're releasing a remix record of that album, and we're giving it away. Every Monday, like tomorrow will be the third Monday. It's called Ministry Mondays. Every Monday we give another song for free download. So people will have the entire album, like in a matter of weeks. So if you just go to Ministry's Facebook page, every Monday you'll get a brand new Ministry remix. Yeah. And that's going to take us all the way. We're going to do From Beer to Eternity, and then we're going to do Relapse as well, which is our second to last album. So we're going to do both those records remixed for free. And how's Al? Al is great. He's moving to Burbank. Um, uh, actually, to Los Angeles um, in about a week or two. Oh, is he? He's doing excellent. Great. He's doing great. That's great. Yeah. That's we have another guy. 
uh, in the works right now that I can't talk about, but it has to do with a network uh, possible TV thing. Cool. Yeah. That's gonna be awesome. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna. It, people are gonna lose their minds when they see this thing. Awesome. Yeah. We can't wait to see yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Ruby and Terrain yeah, and I'm doing it all. Well. Yeah. So I'm alive now. I'm doing everything. It's awesome. Yeah. That is so neat. Well, Sam, we're gonna let you go. We're gonna. Pack it up. I'm going to take my guitar pick home and practice Put it on guitar. eBay. That's, yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's right. So go see Society One. Saturday at the Viper Room. That's right. Yeah. Thanks, Vince and Shada, Plus TV Hollywood. We'll see you soon. Hey, real quick, just thanks to you guys for coming out. I really appreciate you guys always coming out and the support that you guys give us. You know, you and your crew, uh, Brad. Um, you know, it, there's not a lot of people that, that really support the scene and the bands. You guys are doing it, so that really means a lot to us. I don't know if you guys get thanked enough for it or not, but I'm sitting here thanking everybody for, you know, all of your support. It really means a lot to us. Well, thanks. Thanks a lot. Okay, guys. We'll see you soon. <laughs>
That is what I love to hear. This next one we got is called Monster.
filled hearts.
like horror movies. Yeah. I like horror movies. Yeah. Not horror. Horror like Triple Not not horror. Like, I like horror movies. We, we decided after this tour we're gonna start a Kuza band, Pornhub. Oh, oh, oh. I think it'll catch on pretty quick. So this next one we got for you. It's called Horror Movie. It's called Bound by Oath.
Mark Cruz up in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Check us out online. We have everything. Thank you again. Okay.